from the studios of Foxborough Cable Access, located in the center of Foxborough, Massachusetts, you are watching Around Foxborough. Hello, and welcome to Around Foxborough, the show where we talk about the people, places, and things that make Foxborough the gem of Norfolk County. My name is Mark Rivard, and I'm pleased to have as my guest tonight, Amy Labrash, who is the Vice President of Membership for the Foxborough JCs. Welcome, Amy. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. And of course, people know I'm a JC too, so it's not like I don't know Amy. But I wanted to bring her on today because we want to talk about this great new car show that the JCs are putting on. So Amy, tell us a little bit about that. So um, the Foxborough JCs, in collaboration with the downtown, uptown, sorry, <laughs> uptown Oops. business, Association um, are going to be holding a car show. It's a new project for us. It's a new venture. Um, it's going to be on July 10th um, from 10 to 2 in the uptown area. Um, it's definitely something new and exciting, and uh, the businesses are very excited. The JCs are excited, and we hope the town's excited. So, so it's going to be around, like in the lots around the common, so to speak. Yes. So um, what we're doing is we are closing down um, Central Street from um, Wall Street to the Common, um, and we'll have cars there. Um, Foxborough Federal has graciously allowed us to use their parking lot as well as um, Town Hall, um, behind the businesses on Central Street, as well as Rally Point. Wow, that's great. That's going to be that's going to be a wild time. People can walk around, and you don't have to worry about getting hit on Central Street. That's kind of nice. Uh, as somebody who lives on Central Street, <laughs> trying to cross Central Street is a is a chore. But people lock it off at Wall. People can walk around that area, look at the cars, and go to the local businesses. Which is another reason why this is a great idea because we want to get our uptown businesses some exposure. And what's better than having them open and people milling around looking at cars and saying, "Hey, I want to stop in there, get a bite to eat." Yeah, they've been great, really supportive. Um, I went to them actually back in October with a thought, um, and that thought has, you know, made this car show even better, is their collaboration, their suggestions. Um, I have attended several of their meetings as, as well as you have, um, and they've been very supportive and, and um are very much looking forward to having, you know, a little a little event possibly every year um, that will highlight some of the businesses. And that's something that the JCs really want to do is is work with the area businesses to um, have really good partnerships. Yeah, I mean, we do that. We do the concerts on the common, the fairs, and things like that. It brings people from around. But something of this, a car show may bring people from, who knows, maybe even Connecticut, Rhode Island to come down and show off their wheels. And yeah, those are so, people so that we So far, so yeah. far we have um, somebody coming from New York. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. I, yeah. I mean, you get people in downtown Foxborough. Yeah, they go to, people go to Patriot Place. They go to see the Patriots, the Revs play concerts and everything, but they don't really stop and see what's around uptown all these right. small businesses and everything. So this is a great way to show people from outside the region, hey, we got stuff in Uptown too. Absolutely, absolutely. So are there going to be prizes and everything, like uh, awards for the winners? Yes. So I'm going to try and get these straight. Um, we are <laughs> going to have Best in Show, We're all, and that's one award. We're also going to have... Um, a, we think around five awards for top choices. And then we're also going to have a special award um, where the people who are attending can actually vote for their favorite car. So that is going to be the People's Choice Award. Nice. You want to give the people a shot too. And they can go around and check out all these vehicles and say, you know, that's the one. That's the, wait a minute. No, that one's better. Wait a minute. That one's better. And then they they figure it out and they hand it in and we announce the winners. That's That's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun, yeah. especially seeing some of these cool cars. Yeah, That's and I mean, some of them are just people from town who don't necessarily always show their cars. So it may actually be stuff that you haven't seen before at local at local shows either. So it should be really fun. We actually have a family who is entering three cars. Of three their cars? Yeah. Wow. I don't yeah. even have three cars. Me either. <laughs> 
plus matchbox cars count. I might have a couple of those <laughs> left over from when I was a kid. Uh, yeah, that I mean, this is going to be a fun event. And I also hear you have some sponsors that have stepped to the plate to uh, help out with the JCs and funding this event. Yes, so we're very grateful for the sponsorships that we've received this year. Um, Union Straw um, has been a sponsor, as well as Rally Point, uh, Bay Coast Bank, and um, uh, Barrows Insurance Agency um, all have chipped in. It's going to defray our costs um, for the day. Um, so we're very, very, very grateful for them. Uh, sponsoring the show yeah we couldn't we couldn't do it without them so thank thank you very much for our sponsors and I'm, I'm saying this our sponsors i am a jc you know this but um you know we couldn't do these kind of things without the help of our, our generous you know businesses in town um any any swag uh like t-shirts or something is that possible yes so Ooh. we will have t-shirts uh for sale the day of um they'll have the logo and then they'll have our sponsors on the back um hopefully this will be a yearly thing and you know every year there'll be a different one so if you're a person who collects t-shirts you know get one every year um but they um they'll be on sale at our membership booth that day i, I don't own any t-shirts only about like 60 or so so another one to add to the collection would be nice and it is the inaugural so if this works out really well we can have them yearly but this is the collector's item this is the one you want to have Okay, so if you want a T-shirt, where do you go? You're going to have to go to foxboroughjcs.org or check it out on Facebook. Um, and that's also, I believe, where the information is if they want to register their cars, correct? Yes. So there's two ways to register. Um, we have pre-registration going on right now until the 26th. Um, it's 26, uh, 26, $20 a car. Um, then it goes up to $25 a car. After that, and the day of, um, we are um, taking Venmo um, as payment, as well as um, you can send us a check in the mail to our PO box. But the two ways um, to register is you can uh, we can send you a PDF, you can fill it out, send it to us. But we also started something new this year where we're doing a Google form where you can um, do everything online, pay Venmo. You don't have to use a stamp, um, and it's pretty easy and quick. So whatever works best for you. Yeah, the days of electronic transmissions are in effect. It's, everybody's doing it now between Venmo, PayPal, things like that. So to have a Venmo as well as by check and cash is a nice feature because people can, and we're saying this right now, you can pre-register your car right now and save five spot. bucks. Yeah, and save five bucks. That's like saving a gallon of gas, folks, right? That's how I talk now. I say everything, anything by five dollar increments is a gallon of gas. So yep. hopefully that'll change and I can lose that, but I'm using it for now. So once again, so it's the Fox Road JC's car show, July 10th, Sunday, July 10th. Do you have a rain date just in case? Um, we do have a rain date of uh July 17th. So if for some reason it rains on that Sunday, it'll be the following Sunday. And you'd get a free car wash on the 10th, and then you'd be ready yeah. for the 17th. <laughs> yes. Um, one other thing that I did want to mention is um, part of our, um, our, our day is we are also doing a 50-50 raffle um, for the fire departments um, to refurbish their old engine that they um, are trying to refurbish. So all of the proceeds from the 50-50 raffle will go to the fire department's restoration project. That is great. And just think about it. You, you're donating for a 50-50 raffle to help the firefighters with the end, you know, restoring the engines and everything. And these guys don't have to get dunked this time like <laughs> they did on Founders Day. So that's that's a plus for them, you know? Yes. Yep. <laughs> don't bring any water balloons or anything. All right. They are they've been dunked enough. So well that's great. Um so yeah, so once again, foxworldjcs.org. If you want to get more information and register for the show, um, you can find all that information also on the JC's Facebook page um, and Instagram too. They do Instagram and Twitter. They, uh, yep. they, they do it all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cover all the angles. Um, any last words, Amy, you want to say about the show? No, I, I, I think that it's going to be an exciting day. Um, it's new. 
Um, it might be a little smaller this year and we hope that each year it will get bigger and better, but it's only gonna get bigger and better if we get the support and have people attend and bring their cars this year. And, um, you know, we're really grateful for the businesses being super supportive and, um, you know, look forward to having a great day. Great. Well, thank you very much, Amy. Um, Amy LaBrush, Membership Vice President of the Foxborough JCs, talking about the great car show July 10th right here in Uptown Foxborough. Thanks, Amy, for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. And that'll do it for Around Foxborough. Have yourself a great day.